Hey, this is Let's Talk Song. Welcome to episode number three of Three Minutes Theory Thursday, where we look at the basics of music theory. In episode one, we looked at the fundamentals, the keys and the notes. In episode two, we looked at how to build a major scale and how to combine whole steps and half steps. And this episode number three is all about intervals and what kind of intervals there are. Again, the bass is going to be the C major scale. Remember C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, where we have whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, or two, two, one, two, 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 one, as a whole step, half step progression. And the basic information that an interval gives you is how far apart two notes are from each other. There are eight main intervals and a couple of variations within those eight. First of all, it's the prime unison. This is two notes that are no step away from each other. C is in perfect unison to C. The second is the distance between the first and the second note of a scale. So on the C major scale, the difference from C to D would be a major second. We are going to look at minor seconds in a second. That's a lot of seconds, right? Then we've got the third from the first to the third note of the scale, the fourth, from C to F, the fifth from C to G, the sixth from C to A, the seventh from C to B, and finally the octave, which is from C to C, only we take the higher C instead. Now, the unison, the fourth, the fifth, and the octave are perfect intervals. That means that there are no real variations of that interval, although, of course, there is an expert exception to the rule. Now, what about the black keys? The black keys are minor versions of those intervals. So the minor second would be D flat. The minor third would be E flat. There is no minor fourth. There is a sneaky minor fifth that is also called the tritone or the devil's interval flat five. Very, very evil. Then we've got the minor sixth or flat six and we've got the minor seven. This is basically everything there is to know on the absolute basis of what intervals are. A lot of ear training is built on this knowledge. If you want to know more about ear training and how to develop melodies from that very rudimentary knowledge into very expert knowledge, I suggest you get the almost but not quite complete guide to songwriting, link in description. As always, if you've liked this, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, to like the video, to share and to give me love. I give you love back. This is it. I see you next week. Bye bye.